Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Wicket 6M and this is a video on the OTG support for Samsung Galaxy J2. This phone I have purchased from Flipkart. The link of it is mentioned in the description box. Before we begin, there are few prerequisites for this video. First is that you got to have an explorer app. This phone has an inbuilt explorer app but I still recommend you to use the ES file explorer and this can be downloaded from the play store. Next you will be requiring is an OTG cable. This is uh, I have purchased this from Amazon. The link of this is again in the description box. Please check it out. This again I have purchased from Amazon I think. The link of it is in description box. So this is the dual pen drive in which one side there is a micro USB. The other side we have is a normal USB. So we will be first testing out the OTG functionality of this. For that you got to insert the pen drive into the charging slot like this and then there will be a pop-up by ES file explorer and this is the by default explorer app but we are not interested in that. So we will just go to my apps and uh, we have this ES file explorer over here and let's click it. You can see that there are it's taken to the home page and in home page there are three different uh, SD card storage memories that is the first two are internal and the SD card and the below one is your OTG. These are the contents of this pen drive and uh, on the left ribbon you can see that there is a local option over there and in local option you have the SD card option if you want to eject there is a symbol right next to it and uh, you just have to click on this symbol so this will take you to the storage functionality in the settings and then if you scroll down you will find that there is a remove OTG storage option over there just click on that and your this thing will be removed safely removed so now you can just plug off the OTG pen drive so this was the OTG pen drive suppose you don't have an OTG pen drive then you can use your normal pen drive with the OTG cable to connect it to your phone and access the contents on your phone for you for that you have to just connect it like this and the other end of the OTG cable will go into the phone itself charging slot and just as uh, it was with the case with the OTG pen drive the, there will be a pop up and uh, in home screen you will find that there is this uh, storage device and this are the contents so again if you want to just log out do this thing left ribbon and eject your OTG pen drive So this is something interesting we have this 1TB hard drive external hard drive and this is not powered externally it is powered by the phone's power so a lot of phone have actually failed to power this up so we'll just check it out whether this works with this phone or not so I think Moto G3 was not able to power if I recollect correctly so uh, this is a much cheaper phone and I think uh, this should work this is how you connect it to your OTG cable and once you connect it to your OTG cable then you got to connect it to your phone there will be some LED lights blinking we'll just wait for fun, some time because it takes its own sweet time to get loaded on the phone so as you can see the lights are blinking and uh, there will be a pop-up now by the inbuilt explorer app which indicates that the device has been detected successfully Yeah, this has been detected now and you can see that the inbuilt explorer app has its pop-up 
these are the contents and I'll show you how to do it on the explorer app that is the ES file explorer let's go back again ES file explorer and you have the contents over here For rejecting, you got to do the same stuff again, and uh, this is how you eject the thing. So, three cheers for Samsung J2. Next in line we have is the USB wired mouse. This is not Bluetooth powered. This is a normal USB mouse, and you can also connect a PS3 mouse. So you got to connect this like this and uh, again it will go to the phone. So once you just connect it there will be you can see that the red light is uh, blinking over there and this indicates that the device has been detected. You can see that there is a mouse cursor on the screen and uh, you got to use it like the way you use in your PC left click right click and scroll down so let's go to about menu and uh, we have this I went to gone into the lollipop Android version this is a lollipop so for rejecting just pull it out no need to go there and there's no option for rejecting it and the next in line we have is the USB wired USB keyboard the link is in the description box again and just connect it like this and the other end will go into the phone so there's a pop-up that the keyboard has been plugged and this is also mentioned in the notification bar so let's type a message over there let's go to the messaging and uh, let's compose a message just to make sure that the keyboard is working or not so let's type in something this is the num lock over here which indicates that it has been successfully detected so this is kind of testing so this is the message please like share and subscribe The video is not over the, yet, we have some more things to do as well, but since we are on the keyboard, I am typing this out. Next in line is the USB hub. This is a very useful tool, especially when, when you are traveling to transfer data to and fro. You, you don't have to carry your laptop, stuff like that for small things, for transferring photos. You can do it via this method. This is the, this is the Targus or Targus, I don't know what it is called, but it had good reviews on amazon so i bought this and the link is again in the description box this is a 4 usb hub and it is uh, not powered externally so the phone might just struggle to power this up first we'll insert is the pen drive any pen drive you can insert and this is actually very hard i think it's uh, taking a little bit of efforts this is the micro SD card and it is extension so we'll put it like this and let's test it out again connect it to the OTG and then the other end to the phone So again there is a pop-up, there is not a pop-up, yeah, it has been detected and I think it is USB drive B and let's go to ES file explorer just to be sure, okay, and as you can see that there are two external drives and uh, these are the, this, the above two are of phone, so ignore that and the lower ones are the ones we connected so you can seamlessly transfer data between these two 
without having a need to copy to this uh, to the phone so you are doing all the transfer externally just next in line is some fancy stuff this is the usb fan again the link is in the description box and if you are staying in areas where there is a frequent power cut or uh, and it is hot then you can certainly go for this this is for time pass by the way just connect it like this the other one to the fan and have a nice cool breeze so again the link is in the description box please check it out next we have is a usb light this is again a fancy stuff and uh, we have lot of power cuts over here so this has a flexible body and thus it gives a room to maneuver and uh, just connect it like this and it, it also features a touch panel over there touch on of button so this is on and again if you touch then this will go off so please check the link in the description box again so next we'll be trying something different and uh, i'll i'll request you to try this only if there is an emergency because this might uh, this might ruin the life of your battery on your original phone so this is the old phone which i have and it is uh, it requires low energy to charge this up and uh, we'll be charging this samsung phone with our main phone that is the samsung j2 for that you have to connect it like this uh, like a charger basically this uh, if you have the otg cable then your samsung j2 will act as a source of power that is the power bank and in case of emergencies you can use this as a secondary backup but make sure that you use it only when it is required and don't make a practice to use it like this So this was about the OTG support for this Samsung Galaxy J2. If you like this video give us a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much and have a nice time.